Hi, my name is Andrei Sechuk. Today I would like to talk about search keywords measurement in Adobe Analytics. I continue my audit of the Miles and More website of Lufthansa and in this video you will get to know typical mistakes of Adobe Analytics implementation on search result pages. I will start with looking for something. For example, I will look for Miles a new window appeared and I will need to add network console and refresh the page to see what has been sent to Adobe Analytics. So first we can recognize that two server calls instead of one server call uh, were sent and if you watched one of the previous videos I talked about duplicated server calls. Let's see why we have again duplicated server calls or several server calls sent from this particular page. This is the first one and we have lots of different information in this beacon and I don't see anything with the miles value populated with my search keyword. Okay, let's investigate the second request and it's almost empty and I can see that while the first query was sent to Adobe Analytics from milesandmore.com the second query is pointing out to a subdomain searching.milesandmore.com and I presume that this is probably because the search result is an iframe and first the page loads and it sends uh, this request and then when the iframe is ready and is loaded the second request uh, is sent but in general this is not the best practice uh, you shouldn't do that probably this is is on this side just because there was a limitation of how the Adobe Analytics can be implemented for the search result pages maybe there were some infrastructural limitations I don't know but anyway the first problem I would say is that two server calls are sent while only one could be sent instead then none of these queries uh, contains the search query so miles that I looked for is not in those requests and this is bad just because every time somebody was looking for something on the website uh, the report won't reflect that the analyst do not know what the visitors were looking for now let's see maybe the search would be working if I search for something from this particular page I will look for miles and more and we'll click enter. You see that the search results have been refreshed but none of the server calls to Adobe Analytics has been sent and this means that actually the measurement of the search queries is not working properly. The data is not being stored. Now let's try to click on the Zuchen uh, link or button which is um, can be translated as search or look for something okay so now when we click on the Zuchen button we can see that a server call is sent in this server call I can recognize that EVAR19 was populated with my search query that's good so finally only in case when the visitors were looking for something from this particular page and they clicked on the Zuchan or search button, in this case, the search query would be tracked in Adobe Analytics. Now, a few words about how this value is populated. As you can see, the value is populated the way that I typed in it in the um, field. And this is also not a good practice 
because if I type in something like, for example, miles in uppercase, you will see that this is exactly how the value will be sent in Adobe Analytics. The good practice is to lowercase the full search query so that there wouldn't be any difference in terms of how the query was written in the search uh, field. So always lowercase the values. This is the good practice that I recommend to follow. Now let's have a look at what events have been fired. On the first server call, there was event number one. On the second server call, again, the same event. Since two requests were sent, we should expect an inflated number of event number one. Now let's look what was sent with the search query. Uh, there was only event 35 and I presume that this event is used to count the number of searches and that's good that this event is in the uh, server call. You obviously want to know how often your visitors look for something uh, on your website. Now let's look for something that doesn't exist. For example, I will look for a value like that and uh, we'll see that the same event was fired so basically this is just another search event that happened on the page but none of the events uh, have been sent that would point out that nothing has been shown on this search result page and this is also not a good practice because the good practice is you should not only know how often that or this query was used in your on-site search or in other words what your visitors were looking for you also need to understand how often nothing has been found when somebody was looking for it what if many visitors of your website was looking for a product for a service or had a question but you wasn't able to show them that you wasn't able to provide the content your visitors were looking for and if you know that you would update your website with a new page or would probably add an FAQ or something else. This is a good information for those who are responsible for the content of your website. Hope this video was helpful. Now you better understand what are the good and best practices. And just to sum up, I would again repeat it. First, you need to track your search queries. Second, uh, when you capture the search query, make sure that it's in lower case. And the third, when nothing has been found on the on-site search result pages, trigger a separate event that would point out how many times someone was looking for something, but nothing has been shown on the on-search result pages. Please thumbs up if you like this video, if it was helpful for you, subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon to make sure that you won't miss new video uploads. Thank you for watching.